You ever talk to a girl and she says something along the lines of, oh, I really like older guys. I only date older guys. There's something about older guys. They're so mature. I don't know what it is. I'm always dating older guys. I'm getting into relationships with older guys. Maybe you've heard this. If you haven't, it is something that a lot of women are attracted to. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be older to attract a woman, okay? That's not really the point of this video is to let you know that. The point is, is that there is a reason for that. There are some traits that older men have that are more attractive because they're mature and they're more experienced. And what's cool, and I'll be teaching you this on this video, is that you can actually tap into those traits. So it's not something that you necessarily need to be older to have. These are just things that naturally occur when you are older. So we're gonna go into those and teach you exactly what to do to tap into those. And the reason why this is so important is because if you learn these traits, it's gonna help you attract more women, go on more dates with women, and even get into a relationship with a woman you never thought you could get into a relationship with. First off, they have experience with women. Okay, they've experienced with women. So that means that because they're older, they've been on lots of dates, they've been with lots of women. Of course, not every guy who's older has that, but this is something that's typical if you're older and you've been dating for a long time, you have experience with women, so you understand how to treat women. There's something about women that you know that makes you more comfortable around women. The more experience one has with women, the more dates you go on, the more women you've been with, it makes you more comfortable, less afraid, and more confident. And that is basically the trait, is confidence. But that's coming from being with a lot of women and not being so in your head all the time, so scared, and just more relaxed and comfortable around women. So there's some sort of comfort and ease that a woman has when she's around an older guy who has all that experience. So that's the first thing. The second trait is they support themselves. So older guys usually have more money. They've been working on their career for a longer time. You know, they're not a broke 22 year old who's in an entry level job. They're older and they have whatever, they've saved money, they've worked at, uh, work at big companies and moved their way up. Either way, you know, generally speaking, older men have more money. So what's attractive in this is the fact that they can support themselves. The fact that they can hold their own the fact that when a woman comes over, she knows that this is a place that is his, that he has himself, that he's either purchased or he rents, and this is a place that he has created that is sexy to a woman. The fact that he can support himself and he is mature in that way. There is a strength in that. The fact that they don't have to rely on anybody else. They see that and they go, wow, this guy really knows what he's doing. He has life handled. He's effective. Okay, and women are very attracted to that. And we're, by the way, we're going to tap into all these in terms of what you can do to, again, tap into these traits and, and be part of this. Next, and this is sort of related to the first one, but it is a little bit different, is they just care less. Older men care less because they've been through it all. What I mean is they don't worry so much. Again, this goes along with you know, having a lot of experience with women, but it's a little, it's a little bit different. It's really just having experience with life. You've had all this experience in your life. You know what to expect. So you're just not as worried. You're more comfortable in who you are and how the world works and what's going on because you've been through it. And only time can really attest to that. Okay, so, but still, this is something you can tap into, which we'll go into in a little bit. But understand that an older man just doesn't give as much of a shit as a guy who might be younger. All right, I know that third one's a little close to the first one, so I'm gonna give you another one, like a bonus one here. Another one I thought of that's, that is really helpful and one that a lot of older guys have. I find that a lot of older guys, again, generally speaking, are a little bit more charismatic than your younger dude, okay? Again, with all the reasons I said before, they're more comfortable, they've been through life, things like that, but because they've been through life, they have more experiences, more things to say, and therefore, they're just a more charismatic guy. So the trait here is just more charismatic. They've been through more, they have more things to talk about with you, they feel more comfortable in general, they have stories because they're older, so this charisma really shines through in a lot of older men. I found even in my life that I've become a little bit more charismatic and can talk about more things because I've read more, I've experienced more. There's all these things that I feel comfortable talking about and explaining because I've 
done things on repetition over and over and over again. So that brings a charisma, the comfortability of being able to communicate with somebody. Now again, these four things are not things that necessarily you're gonna have if you're older. Some of these things you can tap into right away and I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. Okay, so the first one is more experience with women, therefore more comfortable and at ease. That's gonna come with meeting more women. Most guys don't meet enough women, don't go on enough dates, don't approach enough women, don't swipe enough to get more dates. They really limit themselves here. A lot of guys are doing themselves a disservice by going too slow with their dating life. So I urge you, if you want to be more comfortable around women, go on more dates, meet more women, approach more women, talk to more women, make this more part of your life. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing, we're talking about supporting yourself. So a woman is attractive to a guy who can support himself, therefore is more effective with life. Here's a simple thing you can do. Do your best as fast as you can. I know this is not something you can necessarily do right now, but it's something to work at. Get rid of the roommates. Get into your own place as fast as possible. It is so much more attractive for a guy to have his own place. I'm not saying you have to buy a place, but if you can, great at least rent a place, even if it's a studio, okay? I think it's better for you to be in a studio, which by the way, you can make studios look really cool, than live with roommates. And also, that's not fun when you're dating. You wanna be able to go back to your place and have a woman over and not deal with your roommates. So you'll do that for that trait. Okay, the next one about caring less. I know that's something that it is a lot easier to care a little bit less as you've become a little bit more jaded or just have grown older and things like that but you, at least you can tap into this by not being so needy. So I'd say what's synonymous with being needy, which is a very unattractive trait, is caring too much and caring a lot and texting a lot and giving so much attention and getting worried a lot and getting scared and, and not being as courageous. So let's just say for this one, work on being less needy. And by the way, that's gonna be very easy to do when you're dating more women and you're putting yourself in front of more women, like I said in the first one. The next one, if you wanna be better with conversation, more charismatic with conversation, obviously, you know, maybe you're younger and you're watching this and you can't just have a bunch of life experiences within a, you know, a month span, but what you can do is you can read, you can learn more, you could read a book every single month, you could read headlines for 10 minutes every single day, so you can learn more about the world and things and be able to have conversations about a variety of topics and be so good at, good at conversation because you know about a lot, of, a lot about a lot of random stuff, right? You could do that through just reading and getting well read on anything that's coming out and things that are you know, on the internet. So that's something that you can do. Here's something you can do right now, by the way. Now you know how to do all this stuff. What's something you can do right now? I think out of all of these, because a lot of the things might take a little bit of time, but one thing you can do that you have in your control literally right now is dating more and putting yourself in front of more women. So I really, really urge you here to not go so slow and like I said, I want you to go out, approach more women, so you could do that by just approaching 10 women a week, and then you can start swiping and messaging more on dating apps, and you could do that an hour a day. So that's something you can do right now. Set up a dating profile, go on a bunch of apps, do that an hour a day, and then go out and approach 10 women a week. That will put you in front of more women and get you more comfortable with this whole process. Of course, you can always get my Hooked program at getherhook.com, which teaches you how to do that and how to go out and approach and how to be better with women, more charismatic, and know exactly how to get them hooked by flicking some little attraction triggers, all taught in the Hooked program. So go check that out. Hope that helps, and I'll see you on the next video.